Another portion that I end up adding through the middle of the process since uh, cutting natural cattails is illegal and um, the use of phragomites, which is an invasive species, is uh, pretty much frowned upon unless you're cutting off the roots and the seeds and they're not spreadable. Um, natural grass really isn't uh, prevalent in the marsh to be able to cut it down uh, legally. So what I end up doing is I have a whole bunch of um, ornamental grass that is uh, um, grown here at, at the farm and uh, I cut a whole bunch of uh, sections of this out and it starts out pretty green which is good for our early season because a lot of the cattails and a lot of the brush and the phragomites are pretty green yet. Um, and I take bundles of this, it's got a nice long foxtail on it, almost looks quite similar to a phragomite but it's not. Um, we get these cut up in bundles however big we want them and then we end up uh, brushing the outside of the blind with that. And then naturally those will break apart and uh, brown out and, and really match the color of a lot of the uh, uh, surrounding areas and brush that uh, we're pushing into. But at least that gives you the ability to zip tie those onto any spots of the boat and um, give it a little extra dimension. And, and this is basically the end result after a season of um, what these strands look like. Uh, it's basically just a bundle of stock and, and real straw looking like. Um, pieces so another nice part to this is a lot of this stuff you can put on the corners and break up the hard edges of the boat that have a hard time concealing now we do have a motor mullet that goes on the back we have marsh grass that covers the back so it's not like this is uh, just open-ended and, uh, and and wide out you know ready to be looked at um, you're able to add a lot of these pieces and incorporate natural elements with man-made elements and then gives you the ability to kind of add and remove things as you need. But that's one of the bigger things of concealment is going through year to year, seeing what works, what doesn't, what products are good, what products are not, and then really finding out, you know, hey, we, we should really put the time into this now, uh, make the boat disappear, and uh, hopefully have a lot better results, uh, you know, in the season to come. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna get the rest of the uh, marsh grass on, try and blind this thing up, and then we'll do some before and afters, and uh, hopefully it'll look pretty good.